Oh God. There is a lot of heat. My kneecaps are burning. Oh, oh I'm burning my fingers. What a moolah. You're an absolute pickle. Oh, my knees are on fire. All right, all right. This is going to be chaotic, I can guarantee. I'm currently at a place called Trem, Tremorga Farm, I think. I'll put it here. It's a beautiful little glamping spot. I'll give you a little tour in a little bit, but we're going to get the barbecue on using the wonderful love logs and talk about sustainable charcoal. Should we do that? And for all of you uh, wonderful people out there, I bought a whiteboard with me. Whiteboard gang, it's a mini whiteboard. What we're going to talk about is the barbecue, this thing here. I'm going to do a couple of simple sides and we're gonna talk about flavor. How do we make flavor? So on the barbecue, you obviously have your charcoal, which we'll have a look in a bit. Charcoal. Love Logs is a wonderful sustainable company where most of their, well, say most of their, all of their wood is UK grown. Proper charcoal can deliver wonderful, wonderful flavor. Delicious charcoal. And then in terms of flavor on food, you can char things. So if you're traveling or if you're camping, like I am semi-camping, I haven't actually got a massive dry store with me. I've brought quite limited things. So burning things and charring things is a way of imparting flavor to something delicious. Then all you have to do is balance that. I've got some nice olive oil which I've been traveling with and obviously I've got my vinaigre. So we're going to do a couple of salad options. Simply char grill some chicken because I don't think it needs much done to it. That says char grill. And then we're also going to do, I don't bloody know, some potatoes. I've got a little gas hob here. This place has got no electricity. Zero electricity. It's actually brilliant. It's really humbling. You kind of sit there and go, God, oh, fancy a cup of coffee. 45 minutes later, after you've lit the fire, you're off. Right. I feel so Jamie Oliver right now. Got my Birkenstocks on. Oh, he's delivered, isn't he? He's always delivered. So I've actually got some of these. These are the wonderful fire lighters. So I normally take about four of those. Chuck that in the bottom. What you'll see is you have these fans here. So most barbecues will have them. Uh, more air, more fire. Less air, not so much fire. So if you want to control the heat, oxygen, very good. And on the top, you have exactly the same. So shut switch, shut switch, a thing like that. That'll reduce the heat and can like condense it all in there. If you open it up, lots of oxygen, drawery, drawery, smoky, smoky, cookie, cookie. Oh, I've got my handy little blowtorch here. Let's get four of those in there. Let's get those on. While they're lighting up a little bit, I'm actually just gonna click this gas stove on because I've got some potatoes we're gonna have. Here we go. The wife's just taking the wee man off on a little wander. I think they're doing a pirate uh, expedition or something. They're on fire. So the wonderful people, Heather and Paul, messaged me, and this isn't me being me, but I, he was like, oh, we'd love to work with you. And you know, I said, you know what? I don't want you. I don't want your money as a small, wonderful, independent startup who's doing great things. Leave that to the big behemoths. So he's just delivering me delicious charcoal whenever I need it. Dump it on. Oh, it does look wonderful. Look at the, oh, look at the size of these. Absolute weapons. Let's get prepping some food. So that's going. So it's gonna take about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And whenever you're cooking on charcoal, ah, you want it to be ugh, you want it to be white in the heat. That means it's hot and it's ready to go. So if you're cooking on a gas stove and you haven't got loads of heat or time or the ability to rapid boil, then cut things smaller. I'm just splitting these in half. These will take about 10 minutes once we have the boil. I'm actually just gonna do like a, a shot so you can see what I'm looking at. It's kind of mental. That's you, that's the camera, barbecue. This is me cooking, look at this. How good's that? That's inside. So two big handfuls, they can go in there. Have I sorted the water? Have I fucked? And then what I got here, I just got like a mixture of vegetables. So simply, I love just like char grilling uh, some aubergine and some peppers and then just fudging together a couple of salads. Salads don't have to be complicated. I've got a couple of cherry tomatoes and I've got some mini cucumbers because I think they look cool. Mmm. Aubergine top. God's compost. So I'm just going to slice these, sort of like, what's that, an inch thick. I don't know why I explain things in inches, I'm English, but you know, that thick. Middle finger thick. The other thing when cooking, if you're cooking on a small barbecue, you've got to think about space. A lot of people make the mistake on is that they end up sort of like slicing these into, I don't know, 12 pieces, and then all of a sudden they're like, I can't feel all that in my barbecue. Peppers, I'm literally just gonna nick the top off and split in half. I'm just gonna remove said seeds. Get out, mate, get out. God's compost. I'm gonna come back in a bit when that's chilled out, and then we're gonna cook some things. All right. I got this from TikTok shop, and it is absolutely amazing. Look at this. Yeah. 
Right, there, there is a lot of heat. It hasn't gone as hot as or as white as I want it at, right at the minute to start cooking other things. But to get a little bit of char on some things, I can put them on and then we'll continually warm down. Right, so I'm not even gonna do anything to these. No salt, no oil, just straight on there. They can just go over there. Just get a nice bit of char on them. Um, potatoes are boiling. We're in a happy place. So there is that old um, Czechoslovakia where you can um, slice a load of cherry toms in the space of about 30 seconds by putting a little plate on top and slicing them down. But to be honest, I've got about 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here and just gently slice a couple of cherry toms. I tell you what, the one thing that you do know is from this charcoal over the, the shit stuff, I can swear, and the shit stuff you get in the supermarket is the, the amount of smoke it doesn't create. Uh, you've seen like it smoked for a little bit at the beginning when it got going, but then now it's like, it's still warming up, but the embers, <sighs> Tresla hot. My knee, I'm not gonna have any knee hair. Who has knee hair? Anyone have any knee hair? I don't have any knee hair. But the heat is kicking off is absolutely thunpasaurus. All right, I'm gonna let these burn for a little bit and then we'll be back. Nice little den. Get this through into the main bedroom. This is our little, little kitchen area, cold water. Goes back outside, bathroom in there. Okay, it's all popping off. My aubergine's over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create oh, two separate heats. What a moolah. So I'm gonna have a direct side, which is gonna be the super hot side, and then an indirect side. So all you do is just shuffle the coals over. So you've got one side, which is like, the depth is quite close to the heat. And then the other side is gonna be a bit cooler. So now I've got a nice char on the, the aubergines. I can push them over to one side because I want them still to soften down a bit, but they're not need to char anymore. And then all I've got here is just some chicken fry. I love chicken fry. You don't need to do much to it. Gonna give it a good old slap of lube. Did I bring the salt? I thought I brought the salt. Then a nice bit of um, kosher salt. None of that went on the chicken. Oh dear. Give that a little mixy moo and then skin side down, which is gonna start burning. It's gonna start creating some flavor. This is where you're gonna have to watch the flames. Yeah. I put a bit too much olive oil on there. It's okay. Don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. Just move things away. Control the heat. Give it a little shuffle. Work some of those cubes down. And this is what barbecue is all about, about managing heat. See some that are like burning, like catching like that. Just pop them over there. See, this one hasn't really done much. Put that one in the middle. This is the one time with food that I allow you to manage it, you know, move things around, find those hot spots, find the cool spots and manage it. Oh yeah, cooking some chicken. Okay, okay, we're in an absolute pickle. My knees are on fire. Now the lesson I want to teach you is I've got some sausages on here. The wee man loves the sausage. So what I've done is I've shifted all of the coals over here I've turned the, the fan to close, so it's just sort of like no roaring heat anymore. Sort of piling them up a little bit over here and just keep them a, keep them a careful eye on them. Don't worry about it, it's a barbecue. And if they're burnt, just tell them you're pissed. The one thing that people were fearful of is cooking fish. Now I went out and caught this salmon off of the, the coastal rock paths of uh, Penzance Little. People get scared of cooking fish. Now, the number one, the number one rule is just stick it on and just leave it. Because what will happen when you cook fish is it creates a seal and the seal is what makes it not stick. So if you start trying to shovel it about too much, then what will happen is it will just break apart and bad things happen. Kind of got nowhere with any of these salads, but my aubergines here, all I'm gonna do now is just sort of like run my knife through it. The pepper is here. I'm just gonna sort of clunk that up. You've just imparted some serious flavor into that aubergesca. Chuck it into a big bowl. I'm gonna kind of go like a warm, a warm salad and then a sort of fresh, sort of normal one. So we're working on like the flavors of smoke and then also like the flavors of crunch and all that kind of jazz. Just a bit of garlic, keep it nice and simple. Here we go, right, a little splash. We're not creating Michelin star meals here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of oil. It's almost like a um, melanzata that I did with um, Alexis. Lots of foods are very similar. Right, look, here we go. She's starting to, she's given, she's given. Look at that, great. You could put the lid on and cook, um, retain some of that heat, but can't be asked. What I've got here is some parsley. I'm just gonna sort of like rip big handfuls. Rippy Rudolph, like that. Remove any of the big stalks, because no one wants to eat those. Food waste, ah! Cows will eat you, mate, grow up. Oh, so Jamie Oliver right now. Hashtag channel four, give me a TV show. I would love it. Uh, right, into here. I'm literally just gonna do ever so simple, split some of these down and cut them like a bit weird. Great. Okay, I'm gonna take these snags off because I don't want all them to burn, he says, which is just burnt. Anyway, look, look at that salmon. Look, no stress. 
No stress, baby. Just let it roll. Let it roll. If it's, if it's cooked, it's gonna roll. Don't panic. I suppose just call the wife, tell her to come back. Dinner's almost ready, darling. Mm -hmm. Right, a little bit of vinegar, going exactly the same because I haven't got anything else. A little bit of salt. I've actually got an avocado here. Run it round. Of course she's a good one. I love cooking rogue, it's great. Look, squidge it in. And then I've actually got some basil here. Again, if you really want to chop it up nice and thin, but I fucking can't be arsed. It all tastes the same. Two salads, done. Okay, we are in a very good place. So, in here, can you see me here? In here, so I've got the aubergine and tomato and cucumber Salad simply dressed, wonderful. In this big bowl, I just put some um, lettuce through it just to sort of bulk that out. Potatoes, I have just drained. All I'm gonna simply do, butter. The wee man likes butter. It's the buttery spuds. Put that over there on the heat. A Little bit of salt in there. Simple. I think sometimes new potatoes don't need any McLovin. Chicken is perfect here. If you're not confident, then get a temperature probe. Oh look, come in. The family, the family has just got back. You're gonna come and say hello, family. This is my, this is my family. <laughs> Is it? There's a camera. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we're gonna eat all of this now. I'll, I'll plate some up and do some plating up shots and eating. But there you go. That is how you do a barbecue while camping on very minimal stuff using love logs. Peace out, Ariba Dirty. I'm gonna have a couple of bottles of wine and eat all of this. <laughs>